Marhaba fam, it's your girl Ruby here checking in on your touch screens, smartphone screens, iPad touch, I said touch computer screens, however it is you watch, I don't care, I'm thankful, hey yo! Okay, we've been here almost a year. What? I know. I mean, we've taken care of Starla and the chickens while working out the details to run our animal sanctuary, researching zoning laws, obtaining 501c3 status, getting our neighbors to agree to us housing animals. I mean, we've got our release forms drafted and lawyer approved a vet, insurance, and just in time for the August deadline. Once I get it all notarized and submit this paperwork, our permits and license will be granted. Like, it was cute inheriting the farm and Instagramming a few cow pics, but like, starting a business that involves the lives of so many needy, precious beings. I mean, it's like forever. Forever, ever? Forever. But most importantly, today is the day where we prove to our community once and for all that we do belong here. Should we just sell the farm? I, I mean, nah. <laughs> Let me stop playing. I'm gonna get this paperwork in ASAP and then it is all fish out. Not to mention, small little detail, today's my due date, but you know, first babies are never born on time, right? So, here we go. Hey. Real quick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, have you seen my uh, Superman T-shirt the, or the Comic Con 2012 T-shirt? Got Superman signature on it. Superman <laughs> himself, huh? Yeah. You're blushing. No, no. no. Look, I, I'm not ashamed to admit that good-looking man when I see one. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, I can appreciate the beauty in Beyonce and of course the beauty in um. Okay. Yes. Uh, I mean, yes. Come yeah. on. Like. Summer's here, and I just, I wanna be sure you are so in and committed because this is the last day Ruby, that Ruby, we could Ruby, even... Ruby, you don't have to keep asking me anymore, okay? This is uh, home now. <laughs> Get him notarized, all right? We're good. Okay. Okay, how you feeling? I feel good. Yeah? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Any little, uh, little baby heads trying to poke their way up? <laughs> I will be sure to let you know if her giant cranium just starts to like slide on out the show. Please do. <laughs> oh. You like me again. Oh, please, I always love you, baby. Hmm. Look, I just really want to find that t-shirt. <laughs> okay. I, listen, I, I found this the perfect spot with my figurine collection. It's gonna be awesome. Good. I oh, I love you. Yeah. Have fun. Okay. Okay. Love you. Yeah, you too. Good luck. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Being so close to starting this new season of life has me reminiscing about before having kids was a thing. Before marriage was on my mind. Before... Well, everything felt so pure then. What's up, man? I do, uh... Frankly latte? Yeah, sure. Cool. They made the nice design, you know. <laughs> Mess it all up. I'm sure it tastes good. They make good coffee here. Like poetry? I write sometimes. Really? What poems do you write? Love. Roses are red. Violets are blue. I'm not really a poet. But I'd like to meet you. 
Have you read Nikki Giovanni's Beautiful Black Men? Is this the act you use on all the girls you talk to? No. <laughs> I just, uh, I'm just, I'm a nerd. You know, my work study's in the library. I just thought, after seeing what you were reading, that maybe you and I might have a lot in common. I, I do like lunch. Okay. It's like a meal. Okay. It's part of a day. And nerdy things. So we're uh, we're off to a good start then. Love has no desire but to fulfill itself. <laughs> Okay, look, I'm just saying, even if you became a millionaire, you'd refuse, like, a little luxury? I don't like, want it. No hot tub in the yard? No. What, no fancy engagement ring? I mean, like, I, I hear Lebanese men, you know, really treat their women right. Hey, all I want for real is a safe place to call home and some food in my belly. <laughs> And if I'm ever blessed to have extra, I hope I give it to someone who needs it. And if any man ever tries to give me a fancy ring, I'll take it as a sign that he has no idea who I am and it isn't meant to be. Wow. I've never met another woman <laughs> like you. <laughs> Oh, no. Uh, well, you I, just did that. Just, 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 just hear me out. Hear me out. Is it, is it this hand? <laughs> now that's perfect. Now you know me. Will you please be my girlfriend? Is that a yes? I'll be your girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. Stop it. You two are the cutest. <laughs> Can you just make a baby already? Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mixed babies are the cutest. Seriously, best hair. Ever. Oh. Okay, yeah. I'm jealous already. Okay. <laughs> Go <Hey>. to it. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Bye, Janine. I mean, she's kind of right, though. I'm going to stick with my grass girlfriend ring. Okay. And then babies are like a couple degrees later. Sure, sure, sure. I got to sure, get sure. at least my master's. But I am determined to make this work, to make friends, to show burnt corn that folks like me are neighbors too. Are you okay? Do you want me to drive? No, no, it's okay, I got it. We're just going to Ralph's Notary on Main Street, so. Okay, you're good? I'm um, good, <laughs> thanks. But we should hurry, because um, he closes in an hour. Okay. So. Okay, cool. We got, yeah, sorry. I'm pregnancy brain, like, whoa. <laughs> But you're, you're okay though? I'm so good, I know. I'm fine, like, memory not so good, but driving totally fine. Okay. Yeah. But I'm here if you need me. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh, Hannah's calling. Hey, Hannah, what's up? Hey, Ruby, <laughs> I'm so sorry to bother you. Um, so my Wi-Fi's out and the nearest store's like two hours away and I, I looked and it's gonna be like four hours for me to go get it. Oh no, that sounds terrible. And my customers really depend on having the Wi-Fi here, and I was just wondering, could I please use your router? Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be down in just a couple minutes, okay? See you in a bit. We don't actually have a lot of time left, Ruby. Yeah, it's okay. I'm just gonna grab it. It's on the way to Ralph's. Just a couple minutes. I'll be right. Right back, I promise. Can I get it for you? Oh, it's okay. I got it. Ooh. Are you sure? I'm giant, but not totally useless yet. mowing Mr. Rollins field and you know I'm playing music out of my car all of a sudden music fades out and my battery is dead I've been out here for over an hour you mind giving me a jump turn I'll give it gas okay on the count of three one two three <laughs> yeah thanks Ruby all right you just keep it running 
Oh, good. No, it's good. I, it just looks ridiculous, but I'm actually... We're good. And... Got anything? No, still nothing. Look, maybe we can walk. It's three miles away, Ruby. And you are so pregnant. Well, look, I can see Mr. Rollins' farm from here. I mean, maybe we can use a phone at their place. Great. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Laird? Dad? We got you all happy toad. Happy toad? Hey, damn near prance around like a little girl. Well, you know, Ted, uh, there's no one way that a gender can walk. Y you know what I mean. If you must know, I'm taking Alex and Ruby a present. I'm so excited. I love babies. Oh, well, whatever. You know, Ted, I remember when you were five years old. And you used to have a best friend named Darius. And you didn't care that he was black. I'm not racist, Larry. Prejudice comes in all shapes and sizes. And, um, you know, it'll come and get you when you're not looking. You know, I'm still friends with Darius. We're in a fantasy football league. And Tamika, my girlfriend, she's black last time I checked. Tamika? <laughs> I can't wait to get out of this town don't care for its own. You know, Ted, there's a lot of people your age that feel that way about burnt corn. I'm just excited that these two people want to be here. They moved here because they believe this is a good place to be. So you can stay here. You be Mr. Angry Man. That's your decision. It's funny to question being all American. My childhood felt all American, just with a little Middle Eastern spice, and then that terrible day happened when our country split in two, and that extra spice became a scarlet letter. But did it have to be? I mean, people knew me. People see people like me all the time. Friends. Colleagues. Girlfriends. Classmates. Aren't we all American too? If they see us. Ruby. Did you see the news? Yeah. Doc Stevens turned it on just as the second plane hit. They need to round up all those towel heads, send them back to where they came from, and bomb them all to hell, right? Come on, I'm going to a protest. I just, I feel like no one knows who I really am and how am I going to change perspectives unless I take that risk. Uh, I couldn't be more proud of Yanni. But I worry. This isn't the same world that it was a few weeks ago. And there are people out there who don't understand you the way that I do, or your mother does, or loves you the way we do. We went through so much to get here, to give you, our children, a better life. There is nowhere else to go. Habib, you must be safe here. You know, I, uh, everywhere I go, I'm, uh, I'm marked. There's nothing I can take on or off. You know, I, uh, any room I enter, I'm a black man. You know. So I, uh, I think I get it a little bit, you know? And I'm scared for her too. But Ruby's charming as hell, you know? <laughs> so, 
And like you said, Gary, she's the strongest person I know. Well, honey, I couldn't be any more proud of you. I'm gonna be praying for you every day, though. Thank you. Come. I'll show you how to wear it. We were three minutes away, and now it's been over an hour. We had to help her, Shilpa. No, we didn't, Ruby. The worst thing that could have happened to her was some aerobic exercise back to her employer. You, on the other hand, are going to lose your farm and have a baby in a field delivered by a vet. It's going to be fine. Really? Because I have never seen somebody so smart constantly put themselves last. I just really need my daughter to be born in a place where people like her and they want to protect her. <laughs> and they see her as one of their own, you know? When you started your practice, did you ever get cold feet? To be honest, I still do. Every day. When I drive past that store with the rebel flag, Oof. or somebody pulls up with their gun rack, you know, I wonder if today is the day that that thing everybody warns me about is gonna happen. And then my first customer comes in their sick animal and they look at me in this way you know they need me and they respect me and I know I'm the only person within 40 miles who can help them and then in November around lunchtime every day the Christmas cards start coming and I know I made the right decision but it was my decision and this has to be yours Where are you going? I know a notary is guaranteed to be open. And she owes me. So we're going this way? Yep, this way. Be don't fall. Okay. All right. Which one am I gonna wear today? This one says, professional dad. That says, fun dad. I think maybe I'll do that. I know what it is. I'll just put them together. You know, that's stylish. I can have the professional look up top, and then, and then, when she's born, I pop it open like that. Sound check. It's gonna be like a big surprise, but like everybody jumps out, and I'm sort of standing in the middle of the street, and and uh. Y'all expressions making me think that's not the right way to go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll say something. Come on. I mean, so I can understand trying to do a memorable proposal and shit, but just a flash mob, bro. <laughs> it's not gonna be a flash mob. I mean, you got people jumping out of bushes or friends showing up at a freshman year. All you're missing is musical theater choreography and some confetti. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Okay, Bjorn. 
I what's up? Say, I, didn't say I didn't say anything. Well, you're all like, what is it? Where I come from, we just do it privately. Invite her over and bring it up over some wine. And if she's excited and says yes, then you're engaged. If not, it's not all this uh, pressure not to say yes, you know? It's a little unfair, maybe. Well, I don't want her to say no. Oh, God, what if she says no? Hey, she's not going to say no. I only imagine doing this once, you know? I can't do Bro, that. What am I supposed she's to not going to say no. That's why you should probably just do it privately. Just in case. It's a moment between you and her. Plus, it'll still be a good memory if she says yes. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. yeah, I can't do this, man. See, this is why I don't date girls out of my league. Probably shouldn't have done that in the first place. Did you talk to her parents? Maybe 1950? No. Do they know you're uh, a musician? Black. Guys, they know I'm black. What? Can we focus? Same like what? And Ruby's like, you know, regular? <laughs> what the fuck? Regular? <laughs> What? You're Asian. <laughs> no? She's not all white, okay? She's half Lebanese. She, she looks white to me. Yeah. Do you love her? Of course I love her. Can you handle quirks? Can she handle yours? If the answer is yes, just ask her. You don't have to make it a whole production. You don't even have to ask her parents if you don't want to. This, this is your life. Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Mm. So you're not... So don't do all that stuff. You okay? Mm -hmm. I love you. Wife. <laughs> I love you too. Husband. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think of the honeymoon suite? Um, <laughs> a little different than the pictures yeah, online. I love it. <laughs> Let's just pretend we don't hear the garbage truck outside. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'll never forget it. It's perfect. <laughs> and if I stamp this, you'll have the right to stay. And if I don't, in the next 30 minutes, you'll be forced to give up your animals, which will lead to your exodus from our tight-knit community. Yes. Yeah, you put it that way. My, 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 what a powerful burden you put on my head. Do you have any idea how hard she's worked to get here? I mean, to make it to this point? To get you people to like her? Show up, please. You people. She left. She left. She left. It's okay. It's okay. There's uh, one more spot. I think we can try when I was- One more spot? Ruby, are you serious? We came. We asked for help. What more can we do? You didn't even ask for your own favor. You just sat there. Because she has integrity. Hand me my paper and my glasses. She sees a neighbor in need and stops to help and doesn't keep a ledger. Dusty called and told me about her Jeep. Sign here, doctor, and you here, Ruby. Take this. Oh, um, thank you. I, I just, I can't stuff like you, with the baby and... It's for the baby. Have Alex rub it on your belly. Got it from my mom, but me and my husband were never so lucky. So I'm giving it to you, my unofficial grandbaby. Yeah, man, I don't know, any, any moment. Well, what do you mean she's gonna look like Obama? She's a girl, maybe Halle Berry. Or Vanessa Williams or something. What do you mean who is Vanessa Williams? You know what? Oh, y'all gotta hit you back. Hey. We're official. Wow. <laughs> this is home now. 
Did you ever in a million years think we'd be farmers? Uh, well, I knew that anything and everything was possible with you. Yeah. I knew what I was getting myself into. You knew better than me, then. <laughs> you okay? I'm getting cramps a lot today. Like cramps or like, like cramps, cramps? It's hard to say. Hmm. But ever since leaving Miss Ellen's, they have been coming regularly. Maybe we having a baby? A farm baby. <laughs> I always imagine little city babies. I'm so glad they're your babies. I can't imagine doing life with anyone else. Ooh. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, bags are packed. Uh, hospital is uh, 12.5 miles away. It takes, it takes roughly, roughly 22 minutes to get there. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Let's go, baby, let's go. Come on, we gotta go. No, 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 no. Time yet. no. What, do you, what do you mean? No, no. Wouldn't it be better for us to like accidentally be there a little too early than, than maybe a little too late? We have a baby! <laughs> Who knows what comes next? If something will surprise us and change this world for our daughter for the worse or the better. But right now, she'll know that she has two parents who love her in a small town that can't wait to have her, in a world that needs her. Let's do this.